CL was once an unstoppable force in the K-pop industry. She skyrocketed to stardom as a member of the legendary girl group 21, and then started her solo journey in hopes that she would keep the hype alive. With her distinctive style, electrifying performances, and revolutionary approach to music, CL has made a name for herself as one of the best rappers in the industry. Lately, it seems that CL's extraordinary talent hasn't received the recognition it deserves, leading many to wonder why the industry and the company she was under failed her to the point that we barely hear about her today. Ciel's ascent to stardom can be described as nothing short of spectacular. As the leader and rapper of the renowned girl group 21, she played a transformative role in shaping the very essence of the group, from their image to their distinct music style. Central to 21's groundbreaking journey was Ciel herself. Her charisma and rap skills were a key factor in creating a new wave of K-pop, one which was set apart by an edgier and more authentic vibe. However, as all good things must come to an end, 21 disbanded in 20. 16, leaving fans curious about what the future held for the members, especially CL. Her song, The Baddest Female, made history like no other song. In October 2014, it was announced that CL was planning to start her solo music career in the United States the following year with Scooter Braun as her manager. While Scooter Braun is not exactly the public's favorite person, having him sign CL was a big deal as her fans were expecting lots of promotions for her which would get her name out there. And these promotions started basically right away. In May of 2015, she she was featured on Diplo's song Dr. Pepper alongside Riff Raff and OG Mako. Then, in November 2015, CL released her first single, Hello, as a preview for her originally intended mini album called Lifted. The song did really well, but again, the public kept wanting more from her. During this time, she was also featured on Psy's song Daddy, which made its debut at number 97 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, marking her first appearance on the chart. After everything that happened with 21 and their unfortunate end as a group, it was actually refreshing to see CL make a promising start in her career as a soloist. Additionally, CL collaborated with Cheyenne on Lil Yachty's track Surrender. Then the cracks in the relationship between her and the company started to show. In 2017, CL penned a heartfelt message to her fans addressing the delays in releasing her album. She shared that she had experienced a series of challenging breakups over the past few years, particularly highlighting the disbandment of 21. She admitted that her attempts to rush the process had only made things worse, so she decided to let it unfold naturally and take her time. Signing off as the queen of album delays, she promised her eager fans that she would be releasing music soon. Unfortunately, this promise remained unfulfilled, leaving her fans disappointed. Furthermore, in February of 2018, CL had the honor of performing at the closing ceremony of the 2018 Winter Olympics at Pyeongchang Olympic Stadium. CL's magnetic stage presence translated into her solo performances, captivating audiences around the world, and the Olympics performance seemed like the perfect way for her to get attention beyond K-pop space. And it worked. She was the main topic on the internet due to her powerful performances, so it was expected of her company to promote her more and keep up the hype. That never ended up happening, and we only have YG Entertainment to blame for it. In fact, she revealed that she had to do her own makeup, sort out her own outfit, and even had her backup dancers searching online for hairstyles to do their hair for the Olympics performance as the company refused to help her. If this wasn't bad enough, we didn't hear much about CL after the Olympics performance. Except for a collaboration with Black Eyed Peas in October of the same year, CL was left doing nothing until her contract with YG expired. YG couldn't even say that there was no music to release because CL shared that she had written over 200 songs ready for release, but the company never gave her the chance to do so. The promise of her solo endeavor seemed to fade off, leaving fans and the general public alike wondering about the reasons behind the unfulfilled potential of CL. Mismanagement is one of the biggest reasons why CL didn't reach her full potential as an artist. CL actually went and publicly pointed fingers at YG Entertainment for preventing the release of her album. On New Year's Day in 2018, she shared snippets of a music video for a single titled All In in a now-deleted Instagram post. In an article of The Fader, the stylist for the video mentioned that it was originally planned for release in 2016 and that he had given up hope of it ever coming out because of the company. Even the director for the music video expressed his confusion about why it hadn't been released. Interestingly, this article with The Fader was actually supposed to be an interview with CL as the author of the article claimed, but then YG had called the whole interview off. People to this day believe that it was a way of silencing CL from speaking out against the company. Thankfully, CL ended up leaving YG in November of 2018. Just a month later, she released her first mini album titled In the Name of Love, which marked her return to music after more than three years without new releases. Sadly, it appears that CL no longer has the rights to the music she recorded under YG. When a fan inquired about a song called All In, CL revealed that she had given up the rights to it when she left YG. 
which is pretty sad. Once it was revealed that CL had parted ways from them, fans eagerly wondered about her future plans. They speculated whether she would join another agency or choose to be independent by creating her own company. Ultimately, CL opted for independence and founded her own company called Very Cherry. But even now that she was managed by her own company, CL wasn't at the center of attention anymore. Some blamed YG Entertainment for not promoting her at her peak, which caused people to lose interest in her and move on to other artists. Others blamed CL for not changing her image ever since she left YG. According to some Reddit commenters, CL's, oh, I'm a bad B persona that she had during the time that she was a part of YG Entertainment got tiring very fast and that she should have moved on as soon as she went independent. A user said, she needs to reinvent herself. She can still be bad but like in a different flavor now. She needs to move on from her 21 days, though it's kind of hard. However, it's hard to blame her management seeing as she launched her own company to promote her independence, yet did nothing to put herself out there even though she was basically in charge of herself at that point. Despite the fact that she could now do anything she wanted with her career, she postponed the release of her album multiple times, which made people grow tired of the constant changes. Additionally, her focus on breaking into the Western music market ruined the hype and popularity she had in Korea. She even signed a contract with Connect Entertainment so they could handle her domestic promotions, but fans were disappointed with that as well. She performed on a few music shows, did some photo shoots, appeared on Yu Hee Yol's sketchbook to perform her songs, appeared on an episode of MMTG and U Quiz on the Block, but overall focused on overseas promotions, which according to some fans, was not a smart move. The West is already focused on big names like BTS and Blackpink, so some people think that CL should rather focus on gaining support from the general public in Korea rather than try and have have a career overseas. Even her Coachella performance, which was inarguably one of the biggest gigs she had in the recent years, was overshadowed by the 21 reunion. Sure, we were more than happy that it happened and that she showed her unfading love for her group, but the question here is whether it did anything for CL's career in Korea or even overseas. She also attended a few festivals in the West, did performances and interviews, but it helped little to nothing to give her her desired fame in America. And worst of all, everyone had moved on from her back in Korea as well. Another reason and why she fell off is because she didn't release music after she released Alpha. It's hard for the public to keep up with her if there's nothing to keep the hype alive. While Alpha wasn't her most successful release, it put her on the radar once again, reminding people that she was still active in the industry. But the promotions for the album were minimal, and once they were over, even the small bit of attention she got due to Alpha faded again. Even casual listeners were confused as to why she wasn't releasing or even teasing anything after Alpha came out. A few people blamed Ciel herself, accusing her of thinking that she's too famous is to go on variety shows and build up her popularity in Korea. According to them, it seems like CL still thinks that she has the same amount of support and popularity from the time that she was in 21, which could explain her lack of activities. It could also explain why smaller artists like Jessie have surpassed her in popularity. They appear in variety shows to the point that the public becomes interested in them and support their releases. Recently, CL parted ways with Connect Entertainment, her domestic management partner, and has met with Psy and G-Dragon. This has started the rumors that she might be partnering with P-Nation or or joining it. Whatever is happening, we need to have CL back, so let's hope that this meeting between some of the most prominent figures in the industry leads to new releases on CL's part. It's incredibly sad to see her potential and talent go to waste just because of a few bad steps. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye!